everybody welcome back to my channel today we will discuss a strategy for short term making use of the hikanashi candles and the macd indicator now this strategy will give you half to 1% or even more returns in a very short period of one or two days so this can be used for either indexes indices or for scripts now let us see the chart which i have opened on the screen this is a nifty chart and it is of 30 minutes period that is each candle uh, is of 30 minutes and every 30 minutes the candle will change the indicator which i have applied is the macd indicator which is the standard which has got the standard setting now the candles which you know the normal candles they are of different types and they are very confusing to understand what each candle means but hikanashi candles they are relatively more simpler and they are only of three types either they are bullish candles or they are bearish candles or they are the doji like candles if you have a green candle now see here i am showing Uh, some green candles if you have green candles which have got no wick at the bottom but only wick at the top such green candles they are bullish candles similarly if you see the candles this big candle which is there in between here this has got uh, no wick at the top and only wick at the bottom these are bearish candles and the other remaining candles which are there which are having neither uh, which are having wicks at both the ends they are doji like candles so hikanashi candles only there are three types bullish candles bearish candles and doji like candles doji like candles they have got wicks on both the sides above and below the body of the candle whereas the green candles or the uh, the bullish candles they do not have wick at the bottom only wick at the top they have and the bearish candle they do not have wick at the top they have only wick at the bottom right so these three types of hikanashi candles are there and they make decision making easier with the help, you can you can take quick decisions with the help of hikanashi candles now let us take up the macd indicator the macd indicator is one of the best indicators in the array of indicators which you have because not only it tells you the direction in which the script will go but also it will tell you the speed at which it will go uh, you can see the macd indicator is uh, basically of two lines one is called the main macd which is the difference between the 12 and the 26 exponential moving average and the other line is the nine period average of the difference of 12 and 26 ema so here on the in the chart you have the green line which is the macd line and the purple line is the uh, green line is the macd line and uh, the purple line which is there is the nine exponential moving average of the green line so it's it's a signal line now also you have in the macd you have um, histograms and histograms you will find uh, there are bars above zero and bars below zero these are nothing but the difference between the um, macd line and the signal line if the macd line is above the signal line then the bars will be above zero if the macd line is below the signal line then the bars will be below zero here the red bars are above zero and the yellow bars are below zero now whenever the whenever the macd line is above the signal line it indicates that the script is bullish and more so if the macd line is above uh, more so if the macd line is above zero as well as the above the signal line even below zero line the if the macd line is above the signal line that is if the green line is above the purple line then the script is bullish uh, when the two lines are very close to each other it's a signal that the script is moving sideways also above zero if the macd line is going below the signal line it indicates the script won't move up fast or it may even come down okay so basically 
uh, what you should remember is that a rising MACD line above the signal line is extremely bullish and a falling MACD line below the signal line it is bearish or it can be sideways also but if it is going below zero then it is highly bearish and if the MACD line is going above zero it is highly bullish now here we have a system uh, trading system uh, setup in which we make use of the high energy as well as the MACD lines for uh, for trading now let us see the latest situation of uh, nifty as on friday the last friday working last working week day of the week you will find that uh, you have to enter into a short sell if the, you get a if you get a bearish iconashi candle and at the same time the macd line is cutting the signal line that is the macd goes below the signal line as well as you have a red or a bearish uh, you have a bearish uh, hikonashi candle now how will you know the uh, green line is cutting the purple line or the macd line is cutting the signal line you can directly observe it or if you see the histogram if the histogram is below zero that is if you see yellow lines yellow bars then it is on the sell side okay and if it is above the zero red lines if you see it means that the signal is bullish right so now here what happened i will show you you had green candles and uh, that was around 11 o'clock on friday then you got a red candle but that red candle is a doji candle and the macd line is above the signal line now after two or three candles these are 30 minute candles here we got a red candle which is having no wick at the top so that is a bearish signal but the macd line is still above the signal line so you cannot initiate short at this stage and the it may go sideways or it may come up again the nifty let's move forward you are finding that now the macd line has cut the uh, signal line and you are getting yellow bars now since we have already had a one red candle uh, one bearish candle a red candle with no wicks it means now that the nifty is bearish and this was around 130 or uh, 130 to 2 o'clock the signal came that it is bearish uh, then if you move forward and see you are finding that the sig- macd is going below signal and nifty has started to fall now you can see that the fall continued it continued on the next day also and finally on the next day uh, you got a green candle now if you get a green candle that doesn't mean that the fall is over you can book your profit if you are uh, if you have shorted it at the signal but you can you cannot go long because the macd line is still below the signal line so in the last two candles which are there they are green they are green the but still the uh, the last candle is having no wick at the bottom it is bullish but still the macd line is below the signal line the bars which you are getting are yellow the histogram bar the yellow so it's still not a buy signal but still still whatever you are uh, shorted whatever position you have shorted that you can cover right now you can keep a trailing stop loss <coughs> the whatever point you have shorted you can uh, keep the high of the that candle as a stop loss and uh, as you move forward you can continue uh, you can continue lowering the stop loss to the high of the Uh, high of the candles subsequent candles okay so this way you can easily get about half to 1% uh, returns in this so here you will find that the when we got the signal nifty was around 18060 and uh, subsequently it fell down to you will find that it came down to 17900 so you are getting about a once 140 points uh, 160 points fall in this so which is nearly about 1% of the fall of nifty 
if you want to see the rising side that is buy signal how it is generated uh, look at this over here when nifty was uh, let me show you here nifty was around 17750 you will find that uh, you get you got three or four green candles but at that stage the magd line was below the signal line so the the buy signal was not yet there uh, in between you got a red red candle but still the magd line was just touching the you will see that i'll show you take it to the corner and so you here you got a green candle but the magd line was touching the green uh, the signal line and you didn't have a red bar red histogram bar uh, pink histogram bar so far now as i move forward to the right you'll find that you are not yet got the red bar pink bar in the histogram now here we got a clean a clear red bar if you see the pink bar in the histogram and you got a big green candle and also you you had a magd magd line crossing over the signal line so at that stage nifty was around 17820 so with this uh, you got you got a clean buy signal and you could have initiated a long position so you see what happened next you'll find that the it's it's going up 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 here you got a red signal uh, you got a sell signal here the you got a red candle you could have exited here but still the macd had not yet not yet given a sell signal so you could have exited because you got a if you are following the trailing stop loss it went below the low of the uh, um, green candles which are rising and you could have covered your position right again you find that the you got a green candle and uh, macd was still above the signal line so you could have reentered at around 7900 17900 so like that it went up 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 and it went up it went up to 18000 100 something and then we had got the three uh, three uh, three red candles and when you get the red red candles here with uh, which which goes below the trailing stop loss of your low of the green candle you could have exited the position so here you got a signal from 17900 to uh, 18100 so this way you can easily find out the buy and sell signals MACD line should cut above the signal line, and uh, you should get a high kanashi bullish candle. Then you can make an entry. See, don't try this out on lower time frames because you will get a lot of signals, and uh, you may get a lot of whipsaws. The best period is 30 minutes, and uh, the success rate of this is around 60 to 65 percent of this strategy. Uh, you can definitely come to know the position. of the script or index using this method whether it is bullish or bearish okay so let me show you with another script let's take up with bank nifty it's loading Okay. Anyway, there is some issue with the loading, so I am not uh, okay. We got this. This I got for Bajaj Finance. Now I have to convert into a thirty-minute chart. I have to remove everything else except the MACD. So now I got this. Uh, plus, I have to convert this into High Kanashi. so you see the high kanashi candles now here you can see in bajaj finance let me show you here it had fallen down to 5700 now you see here uh, here we got a green candle which is uh, 
bullish no wick at the bottom and at the same time you can see that the MACD line has crossed the signal line and you got a pink colored histogram bar okay so that time it was it was around 50 57 100 plus little above 5700 so now you see what happened it keep kept on going up 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 and it went all the way up to about 6100 something okay and here you find that you got a macd cut the signal from above macd went below the signal line and your yellow uh, histogram bars you uh, you saw so you could have exited there okay uh, again you find that it is cutting the MACD is cutting the signal line again it went up and it went still further from 6100 something to nearly 6400 something so still at this stage again the MACD line cut below the signal line and you got a sell signal so in this way any script any indice you can uh, trade using this method you know, typically you get around half a percent to one percent or even more if you use trading stop loss to get a uh, trade setup uh, i hope you like this uh, uh, method of trading um, if you want more methods to be introduced you know, on the channel please subscribe to the channel and once uh, you cross the my channel subscribe is cross 1000 i'll give you the uh, scanner also for this i'll in, put the scanner in the description once thousand subscribers are uh, reached into my channel okay have a good day thank you very much